We're going to get to that, but we start with the vanishing of a 22-year-old who went on a cross-country trip with her boyfriend. He came back, so did the van, but tonight, Gabrielle Petito is still missing. Welcome to Nightside. So her parents last heard from her weeks ago. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow has the latest on the investigation from Northport. It's been exactly three weeks since family has heard anything from Gabby Petito, who lived here at this Northport home. And while investigators say they are preparing for any scenario, including the worst, family and neighbors say they are still praying for the best. All the way from Long Island, New York, a mother's cry for help finding her Sarasota County daughter. She's about 5'5", five five, um, blue eyes, blonde hair. August 30th was the last time anyone heard from 22-year-old Gabby Petito. I love the van. Family says she was traveling in this van on a cross-country trip with her Northport boyfriend when communication suddenly stopped. They last heard from her in Grand Teton Park in Wyoming. I hope she's okay. Neighbors say they would often see Gabby and her boyfriend, but never saw anything suspicious. When the couple was there working on the van, they seemed to be having a good time. The FBI, Suffolk County Police, and Northport Police are all investigating, and the cross-country van is at the center of this case. It obviously could be um, a big piece of evidence um, as far as that. But, you know, really what's going to be helpful in this case is doing a lot of uh, data forensics, where was the last place the phones were, when was the last time uh, credit cards were used, those types of things. Police say they have tried to question the boyfriend but have not yet talked to him and they're asking anyone who knows anything for help. And I know her parents must just be in agony right now, so I hope she's okay. They are praying and hoping that she comes home. Investigators are still trying to figure out if a crime has been committed here and they say right now there are no suspects we'll of course stay on top of where Gabby's whereabouts are but if